Peak Bootcamp, lesson number four, Qgeek or Scribbling, the fast way of writing the headless letters. So over here it says how kayata kashabju kyuka kyuk yakigu yikayik kyukik. And then at the top here it's saying chilo yedo juduk dawanibe tse tuk, meaning year 2016, month second day sixth so in the previous video we learned how to write all the headed letters and these are the 30 letters that we learned how to write it and I have one correction to make uh, so earlier I was saying when you guys pronounce these letters when you utter these letters so gah right should be the hardest right all the reds should be the hardest and then the purples should be softer than the reds and then the greens should be softer than the purples and then the sky blues should be softer than the greens and then the oranges should be the softest so i got i think i misspoke between the blues the sky blues and the orange oranges so these four should be the softest so according to Millam dictionary the oops let me go back so these these are two different products so it's Millam dictionary and then this in the so in the active window uh, the front window it's a Millam dictionary that so this is a separate product and then Millam grand Tibetan dictionary so this was just released maybe two or three weeks ago uh, by his holiness the Dalai Lama in southern India so according to that it's saying Kyuk yik, right? Oh, kai da kesemji kyuk ka kyuk yakigu yikai kyuk yik. Puik ume tizu gokshugi yiksu. So basically, it's saying the way of writing the headless letters that is fastest. So puik ume means the headless letters. Tizu means t means right. Tzu means how like so the way of writing gokshu means the fastest so basically it's saying it's the fastest method or the fastest way of writing the headless letters the ume right so these are the ume right so we already learned how uh, so if you need to learn uh, like uh, i was telling you guys in the previous video if you need to learn how to uh, write all the ume letters then you can watch these eight videos so cbt one through eight so when you write these ume, the headless letters fast, then it's called kyugik. And that's what these looks like. So it's the ka 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 nga, cha 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 nya, ta 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 na, pa 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 ma, and then za cha za wa, sha sa a ya, ra la sha sa, and then ha and then finally ah okay so now we are going to try to write these letters so uh cubic letters so it's ka 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 na right the first uh, four set of letters okay so i'm gonna try to write it so i'm gonna do it really slow step one step two so that's your first letter Step one, and then step two, you put the circle. And then step one, step two. And then the fourth letter, bam. You can do it in one shot. And then, uh, so uh, this one has, remember like when we were learning, like when you write the letter nga, it gets the dot and also the she, right? So that's why this is the, so it gets the dot and the she, right, in Uchen. So that's why after letter uh, Nga, it has the dot, so this is the dot, and then this one right here is same as this she right here. So that's what, that's why like if you see here, it has only one, like just the, just the she, right? But it didn't have that right because it's together it's because 
this is the only letter that gets both, right? Because if it's the third letter, I mean, if it's the third letter here, it doesn't get the dot or the shit, right? If you remember from previous video, this is the only letter that doesn't get anything. And then this letter gets both the dot and the shit. All the other 28 letters get one of these guys. So this, this translate into this character right here okay so now we'll uh, okay so let me erase this so now we'll try the next four set of letters cha 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 nya okay so it's gonna be step one two so that's cha cha you can do it in one cha cha one two nya one two three right so that's cha 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 nya and then now the next is ta 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 na right so that will be step one two step one two okay, let me try this one more time you got ta, and now the next is ta. Ta, and then ta, and then na. So this na sometimes could be also written like this. When it's written really fast, you could see it like this. So just an FYI, this na could also be written like this. And similarly, uh, so. So this now right here, this now right here, when you write really fast, it could be also written like this. And this guy right here, ka, could be written fast, uh, something like this. So sometimes you may see like this, like for example, when you say, oops, when you say peek, right, peek, so it's panaro pewta pe, ya, so in this case this guy right here is same as this guy right here so this guy right here is same as this one so just to keep in mind sometimes you may find stuff like this for ka and then like this for na and there are other letters uh, that we'll discuss a little bit later. Okay, so that's ta 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 na, right? The next is pa 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 ma. Okay, so pa 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 ma should be like. So it's pa 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 and ma. So that's same as pa 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 ma. And then next page we will go the remaining letters. So this is ta ta za wa, right? So this is za. Sometimes you'll see like this, and at other times you'll see like this. So we because when you write it long like this this piece indicates this piece right here so you may see like this so that's why in here you don't you don't because when you write it it in 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 headless letters it looks more like this but when you write it fast it could also be written like this same thing with ta right the next letter is when you write it slow you could like write like this, but when you all, the same thing could be written like this. So when you see it like this, that means this piece right here is same as this piece. So you can write it fast like that. A, a perfect example for 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 this guy is like when you say tit right, the day. So we could write it really fast like this. Ta. 
so t means the day right so from here all the up here is t and then when it goes around like this this is the e one of the vowel and then it comes comes down here and this becomes sa so this guy right here this guy right here when it's written fast sometimes it could also look like this so just a fyi okay so that's like a za ta za and then ta touch it then za right step 1 and then wa something like that so that's za and wa so that's za and wa now the next is sha sa ha ya right these four so it could be sha sa ha ya and then ra la sha sa right ra la sha sa so it's ra la sha sa so this sa right here when it's sometimes you may also see it like this so basically this guy right here is a combination of ta dengbo and then right there so when it's written fast so it goes like this joins and then it becomes this so basically it becomes ta dengbo te sa te in which case this is the sa and then the 29th letter is the letter ha oops okay, let me try it one more time it's letter ha ah it's not proportion it's not the right proportion so it's letter ha okay so that's good enough and then finally the letter a ah. one two three so you can try it a couple more times so as long as it looks something like this then you're okay so that's how you would write uh, so it's as you can see here it's za 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 wa and then sha sa a ya ra la sha sa so this sa uh, could be sometimes you may see it like this this guy and then how you'll always see like this are you will always see like this so there are a couple of letters that when you write really fast uh, then you will see a difference and you may also find stuff like this so when you find stuff like this this is ka and sa together so basically this is same as this letter right here followed by this letter so this is so this guy is technically it's same as ka and sa so when you write it when you write this fast then it becomes this guy right here and you'll see a a, a, a sample leader okay so let's go to the next page so this is how you would do it so it's how ka ra ta ta right and then sha kiku shi sa shi see like i was saying earlier so this is sa sa and the uh, punctuation mark together sa shi pao da dengbo de la dengbo le ka sa like tashi the like so this could be this could be i mean this could be okay so this right here could be written even faster like this oh so that's so this is same as tashi all in all written together and then the like and i think that's pretty much it for this lesson so until the next video uh, whenever possible try to help others if not at least restrain from harming others thanks a lot